Hello everyone. Komal this site, Assistant Professor, Army Institute of Education. Today we are going to discuss about the topic adaptation, accommodation and modification. This is under the program be it special education learning disability and paper is inclusive education semester 2 and chapter name is adaptation accommodation and modification so today we are going to discuss about the broader term adaptation and the meaning of these terms so before going into the deep let us talk about the word adaptation so what do you understand by the term adaptation as it says adaptation is to adapt the environment now for whom we are going to adapt the environment for children with special needs so in this whole slides we are going to talk about children with special needs then we are going to focus for the specific learning disability so adaptation is the broader term and in adaptation we have two parts accommodation and modification which we can seem like interchangeable terms but their difference is there both the terms are different from each other now we are going to discuss about the term adaptation as according to the ncrt 2005 the word adaptation means refers to adjusting assessments materials curriculum and classroom environment according to the needs of the child so in the term adaptation we are going to adjust our assessment style we are going to alter our assessment styles maybe the child is very good in oral assessment then the written assessment so we are going to alter in that way we are going to change the material for the child maybe the child is very good at audio visual learners and the child is maybe uh, uh, good at tactile learning so we are going to change the material requirement for the child and for the curriculum what we can do like if we say i have a child of specific learning disability in my class so as per the requirement of the child we can alter the curriculum for the child maybe the child can able to do well in some other subjects so we can alter that also or the classroom environment so how we are going to alter the classroom environment according to the need of the child is very important like we are now integrated technology in our classroom so might be possible that the child is maybe low maybe good at some style of learning so we are going to adapt that classroom environment according to the need of the child or we can say that we can we can uh, take the child to the close to the teacher so that the teacher can pay more attention to the child so this in this way we can adapt our classroom environment and our surroundings so the word adaptation refers to the adjustment of assessments, material, curriculum and classroom environment. So why is there need to adapt? Why it is important to adapt? As we know that for children with special needs, we need different instru instructions. We need instructional modification. So for these needs, we are going to adapt the environment so to adjust or alter the classroom instructions and the curriculum so that child can meet the requirement of the classroom that's why we are going to adapt the material for the learners so this is the broader term adaptation and in adaptation we have two more words accommodation and modification that's why we are say, saying that adaptation is an umbrella term because in adaptation we have two words accommodation and modification now we are going to discuss about the word accommodation so the accommodation is that we are going to change or we are going to alter the work standards but we are not going to lower the expectations of the 
assessment or the instructional phase. What does it mean that if I say that my child is very, my child requires more support for the reading, then what I am going to do for that child, I am going to provide large font sites. I am going to provide some aids so that the child may be uh, able to learn that. Or I can say that I can provide remedial classes to the child. But I am not going to lower that expectation. The child has to meet that requirement. The child has to learn to read that material. I am not going to lower the expectations. If I say that my child needs more, uh, um, my child needs more additional classes for the mathematics, then I am going to provide remedial classes. I am going to provide support for that. I am going to provide every necessary things the child must require, but I am not going to lower the standard of my lesson plan. So in the accommodation, we are not going to lower the standard of the curriculum. So we have to meet the standard of the curriculum. For that, we are going to provide flexible learning environment to the child. Now, like some examples of accommodation, as we say that if I say the child needs more accommodation or more support for reading, then we can provide audiobooks to the child, we can provide amplification devices to the child, or I can say we can provide large font sizes or the large print devices. And if I say that my uh, in my class, I am having a child with hearing impairment or visual impairment, then I am going to integrate sign language for them. I am going to integrate Braille for them, but I am not going to lower the standard of the curriculum. We will provide the flexible learning environment, but we are not going to lower the curriculum style. We can provide tactile graphics for them. Yes, human reader are also there. We can provide digital recorders or CDs. Like you can see that in NCRT books, we have the digital recorders or CDs. So this is one of the way of the accommodations. Screen readers are there. Visual clues we can provide. Extra notes we can give. Extra remedial classes we can give. We can adapt our instructions. We can adapt our materials. We can adapt our question style. Auditory materials are there. So in accommodation, just we need to flexible our learning. We are going to provide everything for the child which is required but keeping in mind that we are not going to alter the curriculum style. We are not going to lower it. So I hope the accommodation word is clear to you. Now we are going to proceed for the next term, modification. Modification is just opposite to the accommodation. In modification, what we are doing, we are lowering the standard or we are altering the standard of the curriculum or our instructionals according to the need of the child. So what does it mean that we are going to lower the standard? It means like if I say that my child is not able to do the addition sums so what I, uh, what I can do, I am going to lower, I am going to change that part. Might be possible, addition, in, uh, might be possible that he is not able to do the addition or maybe possible he is not able to do the subtraction part. But might be possible he is able to do something else. So according to the need of the child and according to the standard of the child, I am going to alter the requirement. So modification involves making changes to learning goals, teaching process, assignments and accommodate students learning needs. So learning goals we are going to change, teaching process we are going to modify and the assignment styles also. Okay? So we are going to adapt alter paper for them. Right? There is slight difference between accommodated paper and modified paper. So accommodate 
papers are not going to lower the standard and modified papers are going to lower the standard. Now some examples of modifications like requiring a student to learn less material. What does it mean to learn less material? Might be possible we are giving one chapter to class that you are going to learn that chapter tomorrow you are having test but if i need to modify my instruction and all my material for my child with specific uh, special needs or with specific learning disability that what i can do i am not going to give the whole chapter i am giving the important points to the child which is more beneficial to him so to learn less material i am altering i am changing the standard of the material reducing assignments assessment so the student only needs to complete the easiest problem or items or the requirement revising assignments assessments to make them easier or giving the student hints or clues to correct responses on assignments or test so for modification we are going to lower the standard of curriculum our material our instructional our assignments techniques and our evaluation techniques also now adjustment or modification can be made in our teaching and learning environment yes we can adapt and we can modify our teaching and learning environment according to the need of the child we can adopt many strategies as you are going to learn about many strategies and maybe you are learning about many strategies like we say that we have read strategies so read strategy we are going to adapt in our classroom but we can say that read strategy is going to focus for all learners that's why we keep, we have to keep in mind that whatever the strategies we are accommodating or adapting in our classroom that should make the inclusive practice teaching and learning support materials that enhances learner performance and allows at least partial learning in learning activities level of support and assessment so these are the so um, these are some adjustment or modification we can make in now we are going to discuss about the example as in this sub unit part we are going to main discuss about the adaptation accommodation and modification so our main focus is on this aspect only so for english the first thing is accommodation in accommodation we are not going to lower the standard accommodation is like student uses a laptop for a written assignment instead of handwriting so i am the teacher and i have given assignment to the student that you have to do this assignment and you have to submit it tomorrow so what accommodation i am giving to student is instead of handwriting you can write it or you can type it on your laptop so this is the accommodation for the child we are giving relaxation to the child and flexible now for this same thing what modification i am going to do student produces shorter assignments on simplified topics now we are lowering the standard of our assignment in this part modification is to lower the standard and we are lowering our standard of assignment in this part so what as a teacher what i am going to say to my student that you need to complete the assignment and this is your assignment part so i have shorter the assignment part for my specific learning disability child next day is for maths how we are going to adapt or accommodate for maths accommodation is like student uses a calculator to compute volume of a quiz i have given accommodation to the child to use calculator to solve the problem and modification is i am altering the problem instead of giving some difficult problem i am giving according to the standard of the child simplified problem one step problem where the expectation is two or more so accommodation and modification must be based on the specific needs of the students because we are going to 
meet the needs of the child now these are the some dif uh, differences between accommodation and modification like accommodation is do not fundamentally alter or lower expectations modification do lower the expectations accommodation is providing equal access to learning and equal opportunity to demonstrate we are providing equal access and learning opportunity in accommodation and in modification we are providing student meaningful and productive learning experiences and in accommodation grading is same for all and modification as we are lowering the standard of curriculum then we are going to lower the grading also so this is the main main concept of adaptation accommodation and modification just a quick revision adaptation is to adapt the assessment material curriculum classroom environment according to the need of the child in adaptation we have two umbrella terms accommodation and modification in accommodations we are not altering we are not lowering the standard of the curriculum or the expectations we are just making it flexible according to the need of the learner these are some examples of accommodations as per your knowledge and as per the case studies you can accommodate more in this modification is to lower the standard of the curriculum or the expectation according to the need of the child and these are the some examples of modification and adjustment or modification can be made in different ways we have discussed this and the example for both is like english we are going to give laptop instead of handwriting assignment for accommodation and for modification we are going to shorter the assignment and for maths we are going to give calculators for the accommodation and for modification we are going to change the problems and these are some difference for the accommodations and modification accommodation do not fundamentally alter or lower expectations modification do lower the expectation grading and credit are same for the accommodation modification grading and credit may be different accommodation provide equal access for all and modification focus on the productive learning so i hope this topic is clear to you and in next part we are going to discuss further more about accommodation adaptations modifications for children with neurodevelopment disabilities specific learning disabilities all the disabilities included in dyslexia dysgraphia dyscalculia all the three and all major uh, disabilities we are going to cover so here you can see that we have covered the part of adaptation accommodation and modification so thank you and have a nice day